So the big wigs over in Italy have finally got their acts together and released the 2019-2020 Serie A fixtures. And you know what that means. Prediction video! That's right folks, back once again with another prediction video, this time we've gone over to Italia, that's right, to predict the outcome of the 2019-2020 Serie A season, we'll get to that in just one second, if you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep your bang up to date, with all things Blackboard Rovers related, Serie A related, world football related, we've got it all here, under one roof, excuse, that's right folks, so let's get cracking obviously. Uh, the domestic seasons out in the UK are right around the corner. The and uh, I think the, the German league and the Spanish league are not far behind as well. Uh, but Syria are, are the late uh, late entrance to the party. They'll be they'll be towards the back end of August to kick off their uh, their campaign. And it is looking like a bit of a shake up. A lot of new managers knocking around. Juventus got a new manager. I think Roma have got a new manager. Uh, Inter Milan got a new manager. It's a bit of a domino effect up and down the old uh, Syria. Are. But let's get cracking, folks. And like uh, it, like the like the previous uh, prediction videos we do it a little bit different over here we go smack dab in the middle and go and work our way down and then we work our way up now what I would have usually said uh, like in previous videos behind me are the results but unfortunately that is not the case um, I did do this result by result and it got and, I, and we'll have the verdict of the table but unfortunately I, I don't know went backwards or something on the browser and I couldn't go back and take any snapshots so you have to you're just gonna have to believe me folks um, and that is sometimes harder than uh, than harder than it can be uh, so let's get cracking and take a little look smack dab in the middle at who I think will be 11th and I am going to go with last season's uh, dark horse a little bit and it was Torino that's right I think they're going to be uh, out, of the, out of the races a little bit uh, this season I think they'll be content with that obviously they've got Europa League football to deal with this season so I think that's going to uh, put an extra bit of pressure on them to try and do well and get further in that competition and I think they're going to take a hit uh, positionally um, this campaign. So into 12th spot we've got, and it is Palmer. Uh, another team that did okay last season, hanging on for dear life in the end. 14th spot overall, three points uh, clear of the drop zone. And again, I'll show you once I've done the whole, the big reveal, uh, the, the points tallies that I think. And again, just take those with a pinch of salt. But Palmer, uh, for me, a couple of uh, positions better off than last season. They did finish in 14th 2018-2019, uh, so a couple, couple spots up the table. Uh, moving, moving forward, we have Genoa. Again, one of the uh, even more luckier teams in Serie A this season. Hanging off a dear life uh, by goal difference. Last season they did finish in um, 17th, just above in Pauli, who uh, I think they entered a, a playoff bout, but ultimately they went down. Genoa stuck around. So I see them are doing a little bit better this season. Next up we have Udinese. They finished strongly last at the back end of the last campaign, winning the last three games to push themselves up to 12th. A team that usually is 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 like a mid-table team. And again, I think they'll be in the mid-table zone, but unfortunately I think a couple of spots worse off this time out. 14th spot for Udinese going into 2019-2020. Into 15th spot we have Spal. Uh, again, a team that yeah, they actually finished the season in pretty shit form, losing the last three games. Uh, so again, they were up and down last season, bit of a yo-yo, but ultimately finishing in 13th spot. So this season, a couple spots worse off, but hanging on in there in Serie A for another season. So 15th spot for Spau. Now next up we have uh, last season was Fiorentina in this spot. Uh, but for me, it will be Bologna. Now, Bologna finished in a, an incredible 10th spot last season with a very, very good back end to that uh, to campaign winning. Uh, just losing the one out of the last six, winning four of those uh, past six games as well. So they finished strongly, but this season, I think they're just going to hang on uh, for dear life. I uh, finished in 16th spot um, for the overall campaign. Into 17th spot, the luckiest position in the table, and it is Brescia. That is right, one of the teams that got themselves promoted uh, last time out from Serie B up to Serie A. This time they're going to hang on for dear life in Serie A for another season. I see them uh, just just get their noses above it, uh, above the drop zone. The two relegation spots, I think it's a playoff spot. Uh, and again, uh, we'll probably look about look into that in a little bit. Into 18th spot we go. And there's Lecce, that's right. Another team that came up with Brescia. I think they finished second in the table last time out in Serie B. Unfortunately, it's going to brief be a very brief spell. Uh, for them in the top flight over in Italy. I think they're going to get relegated via the playoffs or at least get into that 18th spot. Not necessarily get relegated. They might hang around uh, and stick around for uh, another season. But they'll be in that unlucky spot 
and we'll have to duke it out with whoever uh, they'll face in those playoffs. It's a 19th spot, it's Cagliari, that's right. Uh, last season they finished in 15th spot and again three points off of the old drop zone but this season I think they're going to go down and down with a bit of a stinker as well so ultimately in the, tr the, the bottom two spots which means dead server well it's relegation for sure um, uh, not playoffs and all that kind of good stuff and wrapping up the bottom spot uh, the worst team in the division will be Hellas Verona that's right making a return to Syria A this season but it will only be a fleeting visit and they'll get themselves relegated in their return season so that is the bottom 10 now what about the top 10 I'll tell you now folks it is a little bit of a shake up but not a massive shake up but I'm going to give it to you straight. Here we go. Into temp spot we go. And it is Fiorentina. That's right. Last season they finished in 16th spot with a very, very dreadful end of the season. Just winning, uh, just getting a point at the last six. Uh, five defeats on the spin before that uh, draw. So they need to start the division, the, the season strongly to get themselves up into, to into top gear and maybe battle into those uh, outside the Europa League spots. Uh, but ultimately, temp spot for them. They'll hang about. Um, and hopefully have a better season because you know I think they're uh, they deserve to be much higher than than, than 16th or 7th yeah 16th that they were last season. It's a nice ninth, ninth spot. No change, folks. It will be Sampdoria. I think they've got a new manager. Don't know his name. Don't quote me on it at all. I think his manager went over to Roma or something. It was a, a bit of a, a domino effect towards the top end of the table. But Sampdoria have a new manager, but also it'll be the same shit, different season. Uh, ninth spot for them. But hey, I think that's the that's the kind of position they're going to be duking it out for year on year out they're not a champions league team realistically they are outside europa league spots at best uh meanwhile to eighth spot we have sausulio that's right very very strong season last season but ultimately they have trailed off towards the back end of it just winning one of the last six games uh they only they only lost two of those last six as well so it's not a great end of the season not terrible but just to kind of peter it out uh but they were they were in the mix and i think they'll do better this time around i think they've uh uh, I think they've improved their squad. I haven't really delved into too much of the transfer activity over in Italy. But for me, I just think there's something about them. And they'll, they'll, they'll do themselves a bit of justice and get themselves further up the table. Just outside those uh, illustrious Europa League spots. Into seventh spot, we have AS Roma. AC Roma, wherever you are in the world. Again, new manager for them. Uh, Ranieri was in charge with them last time out. And got themselves into Europa League football. Into, uh, into sixth spot. Correct me if I'm wrong. Italian fans out there now I'm not uh, are they in Europe or are they not in Europe because I now know looking at this old table that Torino are seventh last time out but they're in the Europa League and I think I had a comment on one of the previous videos saying that maybe Roma got disqualified or something so any any experts out there confirm uh, their destiny this season but anyway I have them finishing as seventh just outside the top six so there's a bit of a reshape uh, in the top six let's take a look at who in gets into that illustrious sixth spot just outside those top two and it is Lazio that's right finishing eighth last time out uh, a couple spots better for them this season as well moving further up the table uh, the, at the back end of the season they did lose three of the last six games um, but I just I, I feel that there's something about them this season that they're gonna they're gonna be pushing they don't have European football to destroy track them they'll be they'll have uh, fitter players uh less less you know less game time so uh yeah i think i'll squeeze in there at the expense of looks like roma or torino so yeah big uh, a, a, a better better season for lazio into fifth spot we have atalanta dark horses last time out finishing third in the in the in the Serie A last season um obviously champions league is is their bread and butter this season they're gonna be trying focusing on that stick around as long as possible um, and that could be a major disadvantage for them in their position um, this time. I don't see them being that much weaker than the top four. Um, but I just think that those extra games, um, I don't think they've invested too much uh, to improve their score or add bodies to it. I don't know. Um, but ultimately, I think that's going to be a, a bit of a... An extra, an extra distraction and ex those extra games that could add up to what an extra 6, 10, 12 games a season um, it will be a little bit much for them at this stage. And it will take a, take a hit on them and they should ultimately just drop outside those uh, Champions League spots. So here we go. It is the power four. So if Atlanta are out, 
uh, an AS Roma are out of the old European contention. Who is in? Well, in turn number fourth spot, we have AC Milan. And I believe they have a new manager as well, uh, finishing fifth last time out, winning their last four games on the spin. So they end, they enter the, or they exit the season in tremendous form. So hopefully they can kind of build on that momentum and kickstart their 2019-2020 their campaign and kick on forward into, and push on forward to Champions League football, get the Milan boys back where they belong in the, in the uh, illustrious European competition. So they'll go there. And joining them will be Napoli. That is right. Yes, Ancelotti uh, finishing second last time out, quite convincingly as well. Um, and I think it's going to be tight. It's those, I think this top three, it's going to be a three-horse race this year. I don't think it's going to be a walk-away two-horse race. Realistically, it was a one-horse race um, with Juventus just kind of couldn't be asked towards the back end of the season once they'd, they'd won they'd won it they'd, they'd lost two of their last games uh, last six in fact they only won one of their last six games so Juventus really switched off towards the back end of it so this season I think it is going to be a three horse race Napoli will be in it now don't 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 uh, let that put you off I think it's going to the margins will be close between Napoli and the second and top spot uh, but ultimately they will finish third now that'll be I think what they're expecting right now is Champions League football um, I think the gap see the question mark is going into this season is obviously Ancelotti is you know stay put but there's a new man in charge of Juventus Sari, and he's, he's bringing in some exciting players possibly bringing in Lukaku Diabalas could be on his way out could have been a bit of a rejig and that could be a disadvantage to Juventus with a new manager uh, and Sari returning to Italian football um so yeah but ultimately, the, the top two, it will be it will duking it out. And I'm, I'm going to give you the names now. It is obviously between Juventus and it is between Inter Milan. Uh, Antonio Conte is also back uh, in Italian football uh, in charge of Inter Milan, boys and girls. So who's going to come out on top? Will it be Sari Ball or will it be Conte Ball? Two ex-Chelsea managers. In fact, the top three are three ex-Chelsea managers. Holy smokes, boys and girls. But who's going to be, who's going to be the ex-Chelsea governor top of the pops? Well, it's going to be... Sorry, ball boys and girls. That's right. I just think Juventus still have the 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 reshuffle is will be a bit dramatic, I think, and I don't think they're going to walk away with the league as convincingly as they did this season. Obviously, still got Ronaldo, who is a born winner. Their defense is is aging, but they've just brought back Buffon. They've brought in this Delit fella. They've they've just uh, they're they're about to bring in Lukaku, who will score goals in this league, no question. Um, so the the backbone is still there. The leaders, the experience, the know-how, and some youngsters as well who are going to be knocking on the door. As for Inter Milan, I think Antonio Conte will bring that winning uh, ethos back. He's a he's a natural winner. He, he won bucket loads uh, for Juventus before leaving. He also won the Premier League for uh, for Chelsea. So he's returning, and he's gonna he's gonna give them some food for thought uh, towards the top end of the table. Obviously, Inter Milan finishing fourth last time out. Juventus going. All the flipping way. So that is my tip for the top. Now, like I said, I'm going to try and give you here what are the, the grand scheme of things here. This is the table as a whole. And as you can see from this, six points separate Juventus from Napoli, who are in third spot. So that's how tight, tight a margin it is. Two defeats less for big Juve. Uh, four, four, four more points than they did last. Obviously, the back, like I said, the back end of the season, they've been absolutely woeful. As for the bottom, um, yeah, it might not be as as big as this, but uh, it looks like Lecce uh, going down uh, on 29 points um, on, on aggregate or, not, or on goal difference uh, with pressure on the same as well. Cagliari and Hellas Verona all going down with less than 30 points. So, and uh, fourth spot last year was 69 points. Fourth spot this year, 76 points. So, yeah, you're not bad. Not bad uh, uh, points, tallies. Uh, but that, my friends, is all I have for you. What do you think about my predictions for this league? Will it be Juventus League once again? Will Inter Milan be up in the mix or will Napoli come close once again? How about the drop? Teams for the drop. Will it be those Serie A B boys who will be back down the bottom end of the table? Or will there be some surprise packages? Fiorentina, Parma, Torino. Give me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Down below. Um, okay, in fact, I'm going to go back here, folks. A bit of admin for you, folks. So I will be doing weekly predictions for Serie A, kicking it off in the match day one uh, right here on the channel. And throughout the rest of the season, there will be pre-recorded no live business this season, maybe next season, depending on how uh, stuff goes down. Um, and if you want a link to the channel, it is right above me, Ed. Uh, and also let you know that I've got a live fantasy football league, which is just about to kick off. Uh, this video will be live, what, Thursday? Something like that. Um, yeah, so this is live. Uh, code is up in the up at the gym, up there somewhere. It's fucking up. It's up there. It's right there. 
Stick that code in there. Head over to the website, Fantasy Football Premier League. Stick that in. Free to enter. Give yourselves a possibility to win cash prizes on a month-by-month -month basis and also a grand prize at the end. Right, but so it's 10 bucks, $10, 10 euros, whatever it is, uh, monthly prize, and then 100 for the champion, which will be me. Game on. Um, is that it? Is that all I got for you? Also, let you know that I'm going to be live on Twitch uh, from September onwards on Saturdays only uh, for live watch alongs for Blackburn Rose. So if you're bored on a Saturday afternoon, wherever you are in the world, head over to Twitch. Links to that sucker in the description below. You'll catch me with uh, the Blackburn Rovers game on and uh, some stats. I'll give you updates on other scores and all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah, looking forward to the new season. And that is it. Black screen of death. So, yeah, please give me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe. Smash the thumbs up as well. Uh, just want to see the old YouTube algorithm. And I'll be back very, very soon with some matchday predictions for you for Syria. A. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>